hearing in Michigan with the federal judge was extraordinary. For six hours, she peppered these attorneys, and it boiled down to you put into this affidavit a bunch of stuff you read online, maybe in a comment section, and tried to make a legal argument without vetting any of it. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're conspiracy theories that yeah. you can still find online, uh, whether it's Russian disinformation or if it comes from a Chinese religious cult uh, that has a front in the United States, and, and or, or maybe uh, conspiracy theories on Facebook. And, and for uh, attorneys uh, to actually put that into a pleading, sign their name to it, and, and then put it into federal court, that's really shocking, Willie, and it's shocking for anybody that's ever really practiced law. I always, you know, I've always joked about when I was an attorney in Northwest Florida, I, I do you know, state law work, but man, when you went in federal courts, and it's something that they, they taught you very early on, you better get all your facts right in those federal pleadings. And again, it, 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 they'd say the same thing about state pleadings, but you'd always hear about Rule 11 sanctions. They would come after you for sanctions. If it's not filed in good faith, you were going to get hammered by federal judges. I don't think there's a lawyer in America that started at a law firm where there were older attorneys that didn't give them that warning. That's one of the things that was shocking me in November and December uh, when people, you know, Rudy Giuliani, he was filing these things. And uh, Lynn Wood and uh, Sidney Powell, they would file these crazy lawsuits. And I would keep wondering, how, how are they doing this? How can they get away with this? Because I know if this had happened in, in Northwest Florida, in front of the three federal judges that were there when I was practicing, man, you, you, you would have lost your law license in a second. They would have disbarred you in a second. I mean, seriously, it wouldn't have been a close call. And I know I'm, I know I'm going on and on about this, but I just can't explain to people who aren't attorneys enough how mind-blowingly wild, how radical, how reckless, how stupid it was for these attorneys to put their names on conspiracy theories and then put them in federal court in front of federal judges. I've just wondered why it's taken this long. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised by the six-hour hearing. I guess I'm just surprised that it happened in July instead of in March. But yeah. the wheels of justice turned slowly. And perhaps these lawyers that made a mockery of these federal judges, made a mockery of, of federal courts, maybe they ultimately will pay the same price that every other attorney in America would pay if they did the same thing. Perhaps. Let's hope there is justice for all. And then there's this. The Republican Party's top lawyer called election fraud claims by former President Trump's legal team a, quote, joke. According to a November 28th email obtained by The Washington Post, the Republican National Committee's chief counsel, Justin Ramirez, discouraged a staffer from posting claims about ballot fraud on RNC accounts. Rima wrote to Liz Harrington, a former party spokeswoman, in part, quote, what Rudy and Jenna are doing is a joke, and they're getting laughed out of court. They're getting laughed out of court. Referring to Trump attorneys Rudy Giuliani and Jenna Ellis, he continues, quote, they are misleading millions of people who have wishful thinking that the president is going to win this thing. Let's bring in Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and associate editor for The Washington Post and MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson. Gene. When when I, I, I talk to friends uh, who are reading conspiracy websites, who are uh, reading Facebook conspiracy websites, who are, are going to websites that are run by Chinese uh, religious cults, um, I, I, I say, I say, I say, listen, Rudy Giuliani, uh, he got laughed out of court. Rudy Giuliani never would allege in federal court widespread voter fraud. Uh, all of these judges, all these judges, Trump appointed judges laughed these people out of court in a minute. And still mm -hmm. that conspiracy theory still holds. But here is another example, is it not, of, of all the institutions that may have buckled under Donald Trump, our federal court system remains strong. 